Welcome back to another Roblox traffic light tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can get creative with your traffic light visors. So in the, tra in the traffic light plugin from 22 Pilots, you're not able to easily customize your traffic light visors to give them a unique uh, distinction for your intersections because you're only given louvers. Louvers can be helpful, but there are some situations where adjusting your visors could be a lot better. So the reason why I'm doing this video is because um, one, I think it would be a good tool for y'all to use that are building your cities if you're near complex intersections. Really, all that you need is that you just need a sample of both, of both different visors for this to actually work. Because in Roblox, for your basic tools, there isn't a way for you to stretch out a cylinder to make it have that curve appeal. So we're gonna have to use the, the cutout visor to, to get that angled slot for, for what you're wanting to use for these visors. So open up your brand new intersection and it, it could be like, you know, as small as you want or as large as you want. But when you're making this, just open up brand new intersection. I'm gonna put in two lights on the other side. So here we got our cutout lights and then it plays out another signal and we're gonna have our tunnel light. So all I'm gonna do is that I'm just going to duplicate uh, the tunnel over to the visor light just so that we just so that we can get that extension and the, and the stretch. So let's just take a look into this right here. So whenever you select these two lights, I'm gonna go into the signal and select the direction two. So you have your two lights right here, correct? So whenever you go into the cutout visors, so let, let's just go to the green one, for example. We're, we're gonna mess with the green light. When, when you go with the cutout, and I'm sorry, whenever you go with the stretch, you, you get that angled slot, which is what you're wanting. You are wanting to get that, that angled cut for this for the visor. But then whenever you go into the other one, and this, this one's gonna be pretty obvious. But you can stretch it out and you can get that that extension with, with, with what you're wanting. So with this, you don't want the extension part of the visor to be too long. And you don't want it to be too short. You want it actually really about the standard length of what you got going on right now. Maybe a little shorter. Maybe. I don't know. But... After you get your two lights up with both visors, what you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to duplicate this or drag it over, whichever one you want to do, and move the tunnel visor over to where the to where the cutout is. And I'm just going to move the cutout out just a little bit, just so we just got some work room. And I'm just gonna do my best to just put the tunnel about, uh, that's a little bit too far back. Okay, so I'm just gonna put, just put about right here, okay? It's about right there, it's not 100% perfect, but y'all get the picture. I'll get the picture of what I'm trying to do. Okay, so now I am going to scale this back just a little bit, and then I'm going to duplicate this and rotate it 180 degrees and then make my adjustments so that we got like this full cylindrical visor shape which is what we're wanting here because this is the extension part and you don't want to have like you don't want to have any gaps because you don't want to confuse the traffic so after you got your extension you're then going to go back down to your cutout of the visor adjust it as you wish and let's say I'm going to curve this to the right. The opening is going to be facing to the right. So I'm going to just rotate it. And then look, here's, here's what we've got right now, okay? That's that's actually not too shabby. So just make your adjustments as as best as you can. It does, doesn't have to be perfect. That's actually almost spot on. And then I'm going to scale this back just a hair. I see me about right here. Yeah. That looks really, really good. I'm actually, I'm actually going really far back, so let me run this real quick. 
and may there there might be an auto cycle thing i don't know but as y'all can see if cars are looking over, up over here you can't see the light well i mean obviously you can't see it right now because it's not green uh here let me let me fix this real quick let me set this signal to auto cycle and i'm gonna run it and then i'm gonna get up in, into the into the angle into this angle and let's see if like will change i'm kind of hoping it does because i i want y'all to see what i got going on so the left is the standard visors and then the right is the extended visors so i'm looking at the light at this complex intersection quote unquote facing the, the traffic signal and look at that obviously like you know you you won't see the light but like you know when you're back here when you're over here you you can see the light pretty much but when you're over here you can't see it so you're not gonna get perfect results with this but you are gonna get pretty close like if you actually do try just do the best you can and you can get some cool cool intersection features out of this and having this is super helpful because it helps with visibility and you don't need to go all crazy what's happened like the 3m traffic lights and all that because you, you can literally just get your extended visors and just go with this and it works perfectly so i'm so happy that i was able to help figure this out and i'm hoping that y'all will be able to apply this feature for your intersections as well if y'all did enjoy this video please feel free to leave a like and subscribe so y'all can get more tutorials like this other than that i'll see y'all all the next time take care Bye.